Hey guys, it is, what is it? It's Wednesday. I am, I'm packing for autism at work in Florida. I need to leave home tomorrow at 5 a.m. so that I can get to the airport by 6 a.m. so that I can get where I need to go and have no anxiety about getting to my gate in time for my 8 a.m. flight. I am always really anxious um, before travel. I have already predicted that I will probably not be sleeping tonight. I'm supposed to get up at 3.30 or 4 a.m. anyway, so I'm gonna try to go to bed early, but that's not, it's not my normal routine, it's not my normal schedule. I'm gonna struggle with getting enough sleep today, so maybe I'll sleep in the plane. So I've got my bag packed here. I'm gonna be, I'm not, I don't wanna check a bag. Um, I have a really close connecting flight, so I'm just gonna be taking that bag and this backpack, because you can carry on two bags. So those are my carry-ons. I will not be checking a bag. I will be traveling really light. I am only gonna be in Florida for three days. Uh, so hopefully I can survive um, for three days. Uh, I'm not actually, I don't need a lot of things and a lot of stuff. I don't need a lot of clothes. Um, so I actually don't have, um, I'm not too worried about traveling light. Uh, I think it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, fine. Um, I'm really excited about going to Florida for autism at work. I will be, um, Hopefully getting to sit down and chat with some people that I have had conversations with over the internet over the years, but never had the pleasure of meeting in person. I will be at the conference Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I fly in Thursday, and I fly out Saturday. <laughs> It is going to be a whirlwind and I will probably be an incoherent babbly mess by the end of it, but it's going to be worth it and it's going to be so awesome. Guys, I'm really thrilled um, to take you with me on this journey too. 4.30 a.m. Way too early o'clock. And, um, not a week yet, but... Time to get ready. Time to get ready to go to the airport. Um, David's gonna drive me, which is great, which means I don't have to actually leave as early because he, he won't get lost. Even though I've been to the airport many times, I will. So, that makes it easier. Time to get dressed. to the very end. That way it gives you a quick out. Not yes, a problem, sir. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Delta terminal. 
I made it through security. That's always a good accomplishment because I look like a weirdo, so, you know. Whew. Well, I smell coffee. That sounds like a good idea. Real coffee? Maybe I shouldn't have caffeine that amps up my anxiety. Uh, but I love coffee. Oh, Ruta Maya, that's coffee. I need to at least find out where my thing is. Hang on, I gotta look at my, I gotta look at my ticket. I gotta pull over, I gotta pull over, pull over, pull over. Okay. My boarding is 7.20, I've got an hour. I'm gonna find out where I need to be so I know. Wait, is that right now? Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of tickets. I have two tickets. Okay. Yeah, the guy explained this to me earlier. I was, I went up to the, uh, I went up to the help counter. And I was like, I'm confused. I don't know where I need to be. Uh, do I need to show you this? And at first he was kind of impatient with me. He's like, it's 6 a.m., honey. It's kind of early for all this. What? Spit it out. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm autistic and I booked um, assistance. And I just want to make sure that when I get to Atlanta, there's going to be someone to make sure I can find where I need to be. Uh, and then all of a sudden he got really nice. <laughs> and then he explained everything and pointed me to where I needed to be and told me where my term like told me I'm going in that direction basically which it's a little ways down I know where I'm going now um but then he got a lot nicer but I don't know he should be nice to anyone who's confused but I'm really glad he was nice to me once he figured out I was needing some help it was interesting but then also he started talking to me like I was a child, so I'm not going to go into that, but he talked to me slow enough to where I could really kind of process it all, so eh, it is what it is. He wins and he loses them. I'm walking around the airport and I just found something really fun. Hang on. Toy Story. There's a toy store in a box. Let me go and check out the toy store, y'all. It's awesome. Please, Western Airlines flight 1219 serves the San Francisco as the final morning. Decided I shouldn't have coffee or caffeine. I don't need to get amped up before I get on a flight. But I'm going to go look for smoothies um, and something that will nourish me since it's too early to eat food. But I really should have nutrition because I am going to be in the air for a while. Um, and I probably won't have a chance when I land in Atlanta either. So, okay, now that I know where I'm going, I think I'm all right, I think. Oh, I smell eggs, but I actually can't eat eggs. It actually smells good and bad all at the same time. Sensory stuff is weird. Like, it's like I smelled it and I wanted to eat it and then I simultaneously wanted to throw up. Why? Why I can't eat eggs. I have to cover them in salsa or cheese so they don't taste like eggs so I can eat them. I used to like eggs. Now it makes me puke. Okay, gotta find a smoothie. Even the total other end. Ooh, coffee, no, I don't need coffee. Ah. I keep seeing coffee and going, no oh, coffee, I want coffee. I don't need coffee. I really think the smoothie shop is like on the other side of the airport. Our airport's not that big though, but we don't have any of those fast walkways. The guy that talked to me like I was five. He's just trying to be helpful. Um, 
was like, oh, they have those fast walkways. And I was like, oh, okay. yeah, I actually got excited about that. Embarrassingly excited. But I'm like, oh yeah, I love those. Hey. Such a dork. <laughs> but I love those things. I could use one right now. Oh, my arm is tired from holding up my phone. It's so heavy. Healthy food. Mad greens. Juice land. That's my smoothie. A smoothie. A peach tortilla. I gotta figure out what I want. I gotta, I gotta put this down. Okay. I'm gonna get you stuff. Just me! Hello. Okay, let's see if I can vlog and hold a juice and roll a bag. This is precarious. I'm gonna drop Again, something. Yeah. Yeah. What was I saying? I was saying something I don't remember anymore. It's been too long. Goldfish brain. What was I gonna say? I, mean, I literally don't know. I literally don't know what I was gonna say now. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe I'll remember if I turn the camera off. Yeah, I literally have no idea what I was gonna say, but I need to walk all the way back over there now because I just walked probably halfway across the airport or more to get my smoothie. And it was totally worth it. Like, without a question, it's so good. They're my favorite local smoothie shop. Austin, everything here in the airport's local. Oh, I love this song. say hello now. Can go wherever you want to go. Gentlemen, my name is Orlando, and I'll be assisting you as we're on this air flight. We'd like to welcome to Delta Flight Number 2774 with direct services to Atlanta. Okay, well, I, it looks like I got here just in time. Main cabin two passengers, you're welcome to start forming a line on the general boarding lane. Back in the bus, back in the line. Way back here. So we're going to fall from the jetway. Um, this usually happens because we have trouble finding our seat and also stowing. So if you can help us out, locate your seat now, if you will. And then as you go down the jetway and onto the aircraft, simply put the carry-on items that you can sit in your lap while underneath your seat. Do that quickly and then simply go ahead and board. So help us get out on time, guys. Thank you. We appreciate it. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. 
Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. And even if the sign is off, please keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. I'm like, no, I need to pee. And then like an hour later, I got off the plane and I still have to pee. And it's been a half hour now. Stop and put my jacket on. 
got my active noise canceling headphones on. Really saving my life. But this airport is quiet compared to all the other airports I've been in so far. I get my jacket. Okay, I'm warm now. Uh, now I need to find the exit. I see a sign that says exit. And then I have to get an Uber pool. Uber pool. Oh, that's not the way I go. This exit. I'm feeling a lot less stressed now that I'm not trying to like. The next place I have to be is at 5 p.m., which is like four or five hours from now. My hotel is about a half hour away. So I'm officially in the no stress zone now. Yes. Yeah. I got here. Taxis, limos. You know, I don't know if this is where I need to or not. Because it doesn't say anything about ride share, it just says taxis and limos. Hi! Where are the ride shares? Like Uber and stuff? Thank you so much. So just straight this way. Thank you. Okay. Got my answer. That's really cool. 1966 Batmobile. That's pretty freaking sweet. Except it's only half a Batmobile. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Go in this way. Alright. I need to call my ride chair now, so let me stop recording and do that. Now I'm in the right place. Woohoo! starts at 5 p.m. It's almost 3 p.m. I feel a little nervous. I'm not going to the event like this. And I smell bad from like sprinting my ass across the airport. I'm gross. I finally got my room. It's after four, which is after check-in. And so I went up and said, look, I have somewhere I have to be in less than an hour. And if you don't get me a room right now, I am literally going to shower in your lobby restroom. <laughs> and then she got me a room. I just told her this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> so here, here we are. Let me show you. This is a nice suite here. So this is like the living room and the bedroom. TVs on both sides, and I have a patio. I don't know how to open it, so I can go outside. And I can see the pool, or whatever that is. Fountain? But I don't have time to enjoy this right now, or rest. I need to clean myself up and get changed. So I think the thing starts in like a few minutes. It's only be about a 15 minute drive. Assuming the last Uber driver was right. Eighty-five percent of folks in the autism spectrum are unemployed or underemployed. And we started the Autism at Work Summit in 2016 in a very organic way in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, at a city with the idea of mitigating some of this. I want to thank you all for joining me here. I want to thank the our hosts at the Ellis Foundation and 
autism at work. All right, I'm back here in my room now. Hi. I uh, I got invited out to dinner, but I wimped out because it's like ten something right now. That clock is backwards because of the phone. It's way past my bedtime on a day I didn't get up at 4 a.m. So I decided to come back to the room because I'm a wimp and I have an early morning in the morning and I have to fix my calendar because my time zone is all wrong and all of my events since I landed in Florida have been an hour late. And that's gonna annoy me tomorrow because I'm gonna be depending on my visual schedule to get me where I need to be on time. So I guess I better open the laptop. Anyway. Good night guys, I'll see you tomorrow.